Good afternoon, everybody. Um, gonna take a few minutes to give you a, an update. Again, it's gonna not be probably as uh, inclusive or uh, as comprehensive as you might like. But as I said before, you know, the investigation takes precedent in making sure that we certainly dot our I's, cross our T's, uh, leave no base uncovered, and trying to give you up-to-date information as accurate as possible and as timely as possible. But there's only so much at certain points that we can release. I do want to let the county executive, Mr. Glassman, is with us again, say a few words, and then I'll, I'll jump back up. Thank you all. I just wanted to say uh, that, first of all, that to Hartford County, all our allied agencies, we send out our prayers and sympathy uh, to the victims in this shooting. We pray for the recovery of the two survivors. Uh, all of Hartford County's allied agencies are working closely with the Sheriff Department, uh, with our Division of Emergency Services, uh, to provide assistance to the victims' families. Uh, and we, uh, we're working hard to make sure that we bring the suspect to apprehension. Uh, I would say that, unfortunately, like most suburban counties uh, in America, we are not immune uh, to workplace violence and violence in general. And as a small suburban community, it certainly sends a ripple across us. But Hartford County citizens are reaching out with support. Uh, I ask them to call the tip line if they see or hear of anything to help us bring this uh, event to a conclusion. So I just want to thank the sheriff and all our allied agencies at uh, the Maryland State Police, the federal government, and all the agencies that are helping us today. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks, sir. I also want to take a minute and introduce Special Agent uh, in charge, Daniel Bordford from ATF. I said earlier DEA, I meant to say ATF uh, has been on the scene as, as was the case we saw last February, as is the case today. Uh, we don't have to reach out and call for help. Everybody comes, which is, which is wonderful. It happens everywhere across the country when law enforcement needs help, your partners turn out. So uh, a couple of minutes just to, uh, I think the question came up earlier about our federal partner's role in being here today. Uh, good afternoon. My name is Daniel Board. I'm a special agent in charge for ATF for the states of Maryland and Delaware. Um, on behalf of the men and women of ATF, the first thing we want to say is uh, we're so sorry for the loss of life. Uh, our hearts and prayers do go out to the, to the victims and the families involved. Um, the question has come up several times as to why ATF is here, um, and that answer is very clear. Um, we are here because anytime there is this type of firearm related violence, ATF is going to respond and we are going to respond in force. Um, we have deployed multiple groups from throughout uh, the state um, and they will be on scene to assist um, all our state and local partners until this comes to uh, a full resolution. Thank you. In the form of an update, uh, again, there were five victims that were shot here at the business behind us this morning. And again, three are deceased. Uh, we hold that number and we pray that number doesn't get any higher. Uh, the two who were taking the shock trauma remain in critical condition. I, I understand one just came out of surgery, remains in critical condition. Uh, we have not uh, identified uh, to 100% satisfaction those who have been shot or those who have been, well, we have identified those, those who have been lost today. So we are not going to be releasing any names at this point of victims uh, in today's incident. Uh, the, I, we will confirm that the suspect in this case, uh, he did, he was an employee here. We have confirmed that, worked here for about the last four months and today was a scheduled work day for him. The uh, there's a lot of questions about an incident that took place in Wilmington, Delaware, a short time after the incident that occurred here in Harford County. Uh, we've been in contact, our investigators have been in contact with the Wilmington Police Department, and they have confirmed that the uh, suspect in their incident, in their shooting event up there, is the suspect from today's shooting here, uh, Mr. Prince. So they have a, uh, issued a press release from the Wilmington Police Department that Ms. Kaler will be giving out as soon as we wrap up uh, these remarks. Any questions related to their incident beyond that, I don't know the status of their victim, I don't know the relationship, uh, need to be directed to the Wilmington Police Department. Again, uh, we do know from their uh, news release, uh, the suspect is still in that vehicle. That same tag number uh, that we gave out earlier, uh, I know there was an issue with the zero that's not in there, but otherwise the uh, same tag number that's in there, a 2008 
Blatt GMC Acadia, Delaware Tag, P like Paul, C like Charles, 64273. Oh. Up to date, we have no information to say he has separated himself from that vehicle. So we are again just calling for the public's help not to try to encounter this suspect. But if you see him, please pick up the phone and call 911 and let your local law enforcement know. He's gone from Harford County up to Delaware. Uh, we, we don't know where. Uh, what his intentions are or what his next stop may be. Uh, again, uh, on behalf of uh, the Sheriff of Harford County and the Sheriff's Office and our county partners, I have to thank our federal partners and our state partners. I received a call from Governor Hogan earlier. Uh, the county executive has been with us from the outset. So thank all of our partners for their assistance as we move through this. And our thoughts and prayers go out to the families who, who are suffering immeasurable loss uh, here today. So with that, I'll take a few questions. And again, I'm going to qualify it with, if it's investigative, I'm probably not going to go into it. Sure, sure. Really not in uh, the we're going to give a few questions, sir. Any indication of a motive? Um, <coughs> none. Other than we know he worked here, uh, we think it, it ties into the relationship here at work. Um, but it was not, he was scheduled to work today. He was not separated. Have there been any other police calls to this business, anything else like that that might have been? Not that I'm, not, none that I'm familiar with, but the investigators are digging. Sure. Sure. They um, determined the relationship between the suspect and the victims. Like, was one of the victims his boss? Anything like that? I, I have not heard. We, and, and as far as I know, we haven't 100% uh, identified all three of the deceased victims at, at this point. Can you tell us about the birthday situation? What you're saying it was his anniversary of work or something? It was, just, it, was just, it was a regular work day. He was scheduled to be at work today. Um, for he, he works here, he has worked here for four months, and it was scheduled to be a regular work day. Can you sure. confirm that he gathered those coworkers together for a meeting and then opened fire? Uh, I, I'm not going to some of the investigative part. I'm not going to go into that. Yes. Um, have police communicated with the suspect's family? We we have been reaching out to, of course, the victims' families, those that we have identified, and. Uh, We've opened the uh, center up here at the Richland Ballroom, which we are going to be moving to our southern precinct here in the hours to come. Um, we are reaching out to any acquaintances or family members of the suspect in an attempt to identify uh, where he is. And, and Taylor, was this suspect known to your department beforehand? I, I don't know what involvement, if any, we've had with him before. I do know that he has a criminal record. I still, up to this time, have not seen his, his complete criminal record. So you know clearly you don't know. Oh. Do you know his relationship to the second location, to this uh, auto? No place? idea. It, uh, the one up in Delaware? Yeah. No idea. Do you sure. think so perhaps careful. he was trying to get another vehicle, or do you have any indication? I, 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 as far as that would have to go to the Wilmington Police Department. I, I, I truly have no idea, but even if I did, I would still defer the answer to so, Wilmington. So clearly he, you don't know where he is, because he don't right. know if he did. Absolutely. But he went from here to Delaware. Right. Should people here... Should the guard be down? Yeah. Oh, absolutely He's still not. Still in Wilmington. I mean, uh, no. what, what are you telling people about it? Well, I, I, down the highway. Same thing. Uh, it only takes 20 minutes to get to Wilmington from here. Um, certainly, I, I wouldn't say uh, be aware. Be you know, he, he seems in this incident to have targeted his workplace. Uh, I don't know what the relationship is up there. But I still believe he's probably uh, targeting for a specific region and not general. That doesn't mean you know he's an armed uh, killer out there. So certainly uh, he is a danger to anyone he encounters. So we should be aware. And there's, he, he's mobile. He could be back here in Harford County in Sheriff, 10 minutes. Did, did he try to shoot everybody in this place right here or just a, a select few? Uh, again, the investigation will have to pan out. But my, my suspicion is that if he could have shot more individuals, this incident would have resulted in a greater loss of life. Sheriff, can you walk us through, what, as, uh, to the extent you can, can you walk us through the timeline? What happened to this? Did he come into work and this happened moments after he got there? Can you just walk us through? Really, other than us receiving the call, uh, for those who weren't here earlier, we received the first call. I actually don't have it on this sheet. Christy, do you have those? Where's she going? 858. The first call came into the dispatch center, or at least our, our cars were dispatched at 858. Uh, and we were on scene four minutes later. So does that start the work day? I, I don't know what day the work day starts. Sheriff Gala, do you believe he went from here directly to Wilmington, or did he? Do you believe he stopped in Elkton on the way, or uh, was that just a, a, a location you searched? That that that's a location that is uh, associated with the suspect. 
So I, I don't personally think he stopped there. I think we were at that house too quickly. Um, so I, I don't think he, he went there. Do you believe he went from here straight to the Wilmington right. area? Right. Yeah, the timeline's pretty quick. I, I think he went. Have caught on uh, surveillance cameras? Um, we're, part of the investigation will be to recover any video related to today's events. Is that how you identify him so quick? Uh, no, I, I, we, I believe we were provided a name to start off the entire... So a, a witness yeah, we were, provided a name Correct. Here? Correct, just to even start our investigation. Do you have ages a or gender on the, the folks that have been... Well, we're not going to release. Side. We're not going to release. We believe everybody's an adult. Beyond that, we're not going to release any information until we fully identify after the families have been... after they've been identified and the families have been notified. Can you give us a sense of what's happening up and down the I-95? I'm sorry? Have you got an idea of how many people... Um, there were more than five. I don't know what the total count was. We, we've taken everybody to the Southern Precinct in order to interview, but there were quite a few more than the five. Can you give us a sense of what's happening right now up and down the I-95 corridor? How far north, how far south? What are you doing at various exits? Oh, I, there is there is a, uh, in the northeast corridor, there is a search for this vehicle and this suspect. Every police department, every police officer is aware of who who is being looked for for these crimes here and for the crime up in Delaware. So um, beyond that and the investigative tactics that are used, I, I, I'll just say that no stone will be left unturned until he's brought to custody. Uh, right. Oh. Uh, and, and I'm just reminded, we, we have set up working with the FBI, who's also on the scene with us, uh, a tip line. So if anybody, uh, again, you should not take it upon yourself to encounter this subject to uh, confront him. But call 1-800-CALL-FBI, uh, 1-800-C-A-L-L-FBI, and that tip line transfers into our investigators. Sure, but is there anything you can say about allegations that this isn't his first incident of workplace violence? No, I, there's nothing else I can say. I, I'm not familiar with his entire past at this point. How confident are you that you're, you're zeroing in on him? Um, I, I obviously, I would feel a lot better if we had taken him into custody at this point. Um, but uh, I, I'm confident, I, it's reassuring that we know, as much as you can be reassured in an incident like this, we know who we are looking for, um, but you know, a suspect on the run can be quite elusive, and he's, he's so far proving to be just that. Still just a handgun, you believe it? We, we still believe it to be just one handgun in this incident. Uh, I, I don't know what, again, for the Wilmington, uh, I don't know any of the investigative information. Sure, what sure, your message to him? What police officers found when they got here on the scene, what they saw exactly? Uh, uh, unfortunately, as you see in any active shooter scene, you see people uh, in need of medical assistance. And you have to approach that scene with a great deal of caution because we didn't know at the initial units responding whether the shooter was still on scene. Um, so, you know, our, our deputies have dealt with this in the past with losing two of our own last year um, and, and they dealt with it again today and I'd like to say we'll never deal with it again, but in the real world that we all live with, unfortunately these types of events are all too, all too frequent. Saying if, if your suspect is out there listening to this, what would you say to him right now? Oh, I, I would ask him obviously to, to stop what he has, has started here today. Uh, you know, enough loss of life and, and to stop and just turn himself in to the authorities. You know, we, we can end this peacefully and, and preserve his life and any more lives that might be in jeopardy. Um, uh, so I, I, I would ask him to consider what he's already done and put an end to it and turn himself in. Sure, I know this was asked earlier, but I just want to make sure that we have it. Did the suspect gather co-workers for some sort of a meeting? Yeah, I, again, I think that's part left to the investigators, something I'm not comfortable talking about, the how the whole event unfolded inside at this point of the investigation. Uh, uh, the the okay. A okay. Couple, couple more and then... Uh, have you been able to observe this vehicle at Easy Pass, tur uh, toll booths, Jersey Turnpike, a any of those tools in the last couple of hours? We, the, the, those the things are obviously, obviously tools that are being looked at, but not to my knowledge. And one more, I heard... Where in the building? Did, did the shooting all happen? Was this all in one room, contained in one spot? Were the people, did he go room by room? Uh, again, I, I, I'm going to leave that open, uh, let the investigation pan out some more before I answer. I, 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 I think it took place throughout the business, but uh, it's not a 100% concrete answer. Do not. No idea. <laughs> 
We, we do not believe uh, that in this incident here that he had any assistance whatsoever. We believe at this point of the investigation that what happened here today, he acted alone. I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap it up there. And um, Christy, we have any idea? On, as soon as we have some names, uh, you know, we'll we'll get them out to you as soon as we possibly can. But family notifications have to come first. Yes. I don't think anybody anticipated an issue here today when he came to work, if that answers the question. From what I've heard so far, I don't think anybody uh, thought something like this could unfold here today. Not that, not that I'm familiar with. The, the investigation has a long way to go. Do you know what his position was at this business? I do not. I do not. Thank you very All right, much. Thank you. Thank you.